Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all had a chance to see our first part of USA Canada trip and this is going to be part 2 and the final part also. So without delay, let's go. So right after our lunch uh, at uh, Indian Flame, uh, we are visiting uh, British Columbia's most popular tourist spot, the Capilano Suspension Bridge. We were told that the theme of the park our changes uh, based on the season and celebrations and this time it was the Valentine's Day and it was awesome. The theme was called Love Lights and you can see why it was called so. So our first walk in the park was through these uh, totem poles. There were a lot of them and each pole had a story to say. Many of the poles in the park like this raven story pole were designed and carved by notable indigenous carvers Wayne Carlick and James Lewis. And now it was uh, my turn to walk on this wobbly suspension bridge. It was pretty scary and challenging too. Uh, the kids were trying to challenge themselves walking hands free, not touching the rails at all. But I needed support so I couldn't take a lot of videos while we were walking on the bridge. I had to rather stop and focus more on crossing the bridge safely. So here's a little bit of information about the bridge as we are crossing it. Uh, this bridge is crossing the Capilano River as you see below. And they say that this bridge is about 140 meters long, which is approximately 460 feet and 70 meters above the river. That's approximately 230 feet above the river. And it is a part of a private facility with the admission fees and it uh, draws over like 1.2 million visitors per year. One of the main attractions uh, here is the treetops adventure. Uh, this adventure takes us on a journey high above the forest floor with footbridges connecting seven brilliantly engineered viewing platforms to 1,300 year old Douglas fir trees. Unfortunately, this treetop adventure is currently closed for maintenance and is not expected to open until May 31st, 2024. Thank you. 
So we crossed the bridge successfully and took some pictures at the photo booths that was there uh, right after we crossed and started walking on this long trail uh, into the living forest. Let's go on a walk, shall we? <laughs> One stuck in the water. <laughs> Spent a lot of time doing the bird control work. Um, she goes in dairy barns and scares off starlings and things like that that cause problems. Agricultural areas yeah, for the bigger phones. So he's retired now from that work because he's 18. He's earned his, uh, earned his keep. But uh, he'll still do that work from the blood. So that part of the attraction was called the Raptors Ridge, which is an educational facility. It was committed to educating public about raptors, uh, which is birds of prey such as owls, hawks and falcons and to the wildlife conservation. As we were walking across the trail, uh, there were a lot of fun attractions and interactive activities for kids to stop by and enjoy as well. So we did try to cover most of the attractions available and uh, now it was almost time for us to return. So we are heading to cross the bridge again. Uh, again, no pictures and photographs were taken this time. So right after we crossed the bridge, we realized that there was one more attraction that we needed to go uh, visit. That was the cliff walk. My family and extended family decided to go down and have a look at it, but I stayed back. I was literally tired after crossing the wobbly bridge. So I'm just taking some pictures and videos of them crossing the cliff walk. Thank you. 
So the entire cliff walk didn't take long as I anticipated and I could have joined them which I regretted later after they returned. But just staying back here uh, watching the dine-in restaurant fill up with beautiful fireplace uh, tables and the view from the top to see the people and tourists walk on the cliff walk was awesome. I was able to get some good pictures of my family and it was really really good to watch from the top as well. And yes, like I said, they were back sooner than I expected. And here they are. And with that, we come to the end of our visit to the Capilano Suspension Bridge. We just made a quick uh, visit into the gift store to see if we could get some souvenirs. Uh, nothing was worth to bring it back, so off we go. So off we headed to rest for the night at a hotel and uh, the following pictures you would see would be about uh, the hotel room and the place we where we stopped for a quick dinner. The place was too good that we ended up coming back again for our breakfast next day. This is the bathroom. First thing, bathroom. Whatever comes first. There's a coffee maker, a microwave, fridge. Why is the sofa here? This is a sofa come bed. This is a normal bed. We can see people that cross away. And then TV. Some space for the luggages. And Ooh, what's this? cupboard. What's this? Okay. Amma, what's this? That's for the luggage. Hi, this is day 2 and it was the day of our return back to USA. So we checked out from our hotel and like I said before, we visited the same Indian restaurant for our breakfast uh, slash lunch. We also grabbed some to-go's so we have a dinner in hand when we reach USA. This restaurant was uh, most uh, recommended by friends of our extended family and it was awesome. The menus were perfect. The only drawback is we visited two days and we didn't have a taste of their filter coffee, not even once. That was their menu for the day. And after a heavy lunch, we wanted to stop for a dessert and uh, we found this interesting place called Pan Palace. It had a lot of varieties of uh, pan flavors and they also made uh, pan for us uh, the, with the flavors that we wanted. This place we discovered accidentally, no one recommended, but it turned out to be the best place and we got a lot of um, 
varieties of sweeteners from them to bring back home. And with that we commenced our return back to USA. This time we took the most famous Blaine Douglas Crossing which uh, is also known for its peace arc um, at the border. The wait time wasn't long as we anticipated it would be for a usual holiday uh, traffic so it was pretty smooth and uh, probably about like 45 minutes of wait time that's it that's the peace arc a lot of people uh, get down here while they are waiting uh, for their immigration crossing and take pictures too one thing we learned about uh, border crossing is that it's um, better we don't carry any perishables with us for smooth immigration process uh, even if you are bringing it from US and taking it back we reached uh, Seattle at around 7 p.m. that evening and we halted for the night had a good rest and started back to Portland the next day and with that we come to the end of our USA Canada vlog series thank you for watching and until we meet again bye bye